you. Well, today, CMS leaders and representatives from the district's municipalities gathered to talk school safety. The Municipal Education Advisory Committee was created last year for both groups to collaborate on solutions for better schools. NBC Charlotte's Billy Jean Shaw was there as leaders discussed measures to keep our kids safe. Today's meeting was an opportunity for representatives from municipalities within CMS to ask district leaders about exactly what they're doing to keep students safe in school. To keep our 150,000 students and nearly 20,000 employees safe, we have some new initiatives. Just this school year, CMS added a crisis alert system that gives all staff members a panic card with a tracking device to guide authorities to any potential emergency. They also expanded video surveillance surveillance on campuses and establish a more in-depth process to screen school visitors. This is a real-time check against uh, the sexual offender database. And during the meeting, the district also did a show and tell on how canines perform random security checks at schools. As of now, the district has one canine to detect narcotics and one to detect weapons. However, with 170 schools within CMS, the committee believes more canines should be added to the team, something the CMS police chief says she wants, but says it all comes down to funding. The price range began at about eight thousand. It goes can go as high as sixteen to seventeen thousand. It depends on the dog, it, and it's it's a lot of miscellaneous charges as well. Reporting in Uptown, Billie Jean Shaw, NBC Charlotte.